We are here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania at the Farm Show Complex for the Harrisburg Sale. This is one of the largest sales in the world. When you go to the track and you see all of those horses, this is where they get their start. This is where they're bought and sold. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes here, and we're going to show you all of it. This has been a fantastic sale, no question about it. This is huge for Pennsylvania and for standardbreds, and I tell everyone, including our state legislators, that this is one of the best kept secrets. Mm -hmm. This is a sale that people come to from all over the world and bring money to Pennsylvania, buy Pennsylvania bred horses. It's awesome. Did you expect that 2018 would be a little better than years past? Yes, we thought it would be better, but not, not this much better. The consigners and buyers tell us that uh, we've had the best looking bunch of yearlings that we've ever had. There's more yearlings sold here at the Harrisburg sale than anywhere else in some of the quality yearlings in the world and we get an international crowd here. You know there's people here from Sweden, there's people here from France. We've even had people from Russia here before. So uh, it's this is an international event and what it means to the economy of Pennsylvania is huge. Some people don't realize that uh, the horse industry is one of the largest agricultural industries in Pennsylvania. I think it's about third. So it's, it's very, very important. And to the ones of us that do it for a living, it's very important. I'm sure you've been to numerous sales uh, in your career. How does this one compare and how does this one uh, rank and stand up to other sales? Oh, this is this is the elite. This is a premier sale. Um, actually, in our sport, we have two big sales. One is in Lexington, Kentucky, and then this one at Harrisburg. And um, they bring out the best and have have great horses here. Really, a, really a nice uh, program they have developed over here in Pennsylvania. What are you looking for when, when you're looking to buy a horse here? A oh, great question. Uh, basically, an athlete. You know, we're looking at them and deciding if we think they'll be able to compete and um, handle the the rigorous training and uh, you know be a top. Grand Circuit or PA horse. While most here are trained professionals, some are amateurs, college students in fact, hoping to break into the industry. What we do is we get the mares bred and then we fold them out and then we raise them to yearlings and this is our end goal is to end up here in Harrisburg with our yearlings and that whole process happens through classes with the students. So the students breed the mares, fold them out, and then get them here to the sale. It's 532. It's by Detour Hanover out of Cantabulous by Cantrop Hall. It is quite the process. Um, it's very hands-on. Everything is super hands-on. We have the horses. We have the faculty. Um, I'm always with them. So I like to show them what to do and then either let them do it or walk them through it. Um, myself, so it's a very hands-on process. I love the standard breads and Delval really gets you in to the program and you're doing everything. It's not just like you're sitting in a classroom, like you're in the barn, you're grooming the horses, you're practicing making them stand and it's great. So tell me what it's taken to get to this point and what you guys are hoping to accomplish here this year's sale. Um, Austin started off really at a below others. He was on some stall rests and he was absolutely crazy. So that was a really challenge, big challenge for me to try to get him to behave like a gentleman. And he is up here pretty soon, so I'm pretty excited. I'm hoping for the best for every horse. We have a lot of popular ones people are looking at, and I'm really excited to see what they go for. We have a good group this year. $8,000 in the back, thank you. How does this year's sale right here at Harrisburg compare to years past and other ones? strong. Yearling sale has been extremely strong, probably strongest in the last five, six years. A lot of good horses, uh, they look good, and sometimes you have to have kind of a little bit of a perfect storm, and I think they did this year. Well-bred horses, uh, economy's obviously good, program in Pennsylvania is very good, and a lot of them were PA breds. So I, ju I just think everything kind of fit at the right time. When a horse is bought here at the Harrisburg sale, the next step is getting it to its new home. So how does one get a horse from, say, America all the way overseas to Europe? Well, we have the answer. They put their hands up, bid on a horse, they come to us, and we take care of A to Z. So we bring them from the sale to a layover isolation facility in normally New Jersey. Uh, we have them vet checked, we have all the proper tests and vac vaccinations given to them, and then we arrange to put them on a flight uh, to Europe. We go Italy, uh, Sweden, and into the mainland, uh, Amsterdam, or into Belgium. How do you keep the horses comfortable on an overseas flight? Lots of peanuts. No, uh, we, we have uh, up to 
10 people on a flight with horses is usually one per three. Um, and horses fly much like you and me. There's economy class, there's economy plus, and there's business class. Now I gotta ask, how much does it cost to fly a horse first class from United States to Europe? I can't give away all my secrets. Okay, okay. <laughs> Speaking of secrets, what's the secret behind becoming a bid taker at one of the premier sales in the world? Just ask Camille Booker, who happens to be the first female bid taker the Harrisburg sale has ever had. Well, I actually have grown up in a family business that's an auction company. Uh, my grandpa and my dad started our company back uh, in the 80s, and so I'm a third generation auctioneer myself. What do you enjoy most about doing this? I enjoy the people. Uh, it's fun just to learn their backgrounds, learn the stories, uh, and just get to interact with them. Do your friends ask you to, to do your auctioneer voice all the time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I bet uh, they do. Do you want to hear it? Is that what you're asking? I, I kind of do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, what are we going to sell? We'll sell your hat. I love her hat. Okay, we'll so hat. we're going to sell her hat. Okay, so on the hat, somebody give 25. At 25, dollar data to 30, they're now 35. 30 is bidding, dollar data to 35, dollar data now 40. At 35, 40, they're now 45. 40 is bidding, 45, 50, dollar data now 55. At 50, dollar data, 55 and 60. Yeah, in. you've got it. You've got it figured out. 60, not 5. At 60 bidding, dollar data to 65, dollar data to 65. Sold it. 60, dollar. You bought it. $60. Congratulations. Oh. All fun aside, this year's sale means big business and the numbers don't lie. This year's auction grossed a total of $53.6 million. That's up more than 5% from the 2017 sale. Records were smashed as horses sold for top dollar. Proof that the sport is on the rise and this sale is just the start. Reporting for PA Harness Week, I'm Charlotte McBride.